Welcome once again to another exciting episode of the Automatic Music Video Podcast. I am your host, Fat Guy Goes Nutsoid. Uh, we have a very, very special show for you today, because or tonight, or wherever you are in the world. Um, the whole world's going to hell. In the handbasket. Uh, on the verge of massive, massive wars... Uh, like Christ said, there'll be wars and rumors of wars. Um, everybody's killing each other. Um, I don't know what else to say about that, except, uh, it seems to be the way that things work. It seems to be the way that the world is in this era of vast communication and technological marvels. We haven't progressed any farther than, uh, the level of savages so be that as it may and I don't expect this to I mean I'm, human beings are inherently evil wicked selfish stupid vile creatures and uh, you know I don't expect anything better from them certainly um, than Stone Age barbarics uh, This isn't my personal soapbox for today. I'm not really in the mood to opine much about many things. Uh, so, to start this off, we have a track from Two-Headed Lamb. This is called She's Building Bridges. Here we go.
Okay, that was the incomparable two-headed lamb with She's Building Bridges. Next up, we have... Oh, what do we have? Hold on. So you don't have to look at my ugly face while I'm doing this. This is called... It looks like this is called... Joey Corman, G S O L, that's in parentheses, and Zolt Gang. And the track is called I Still Want to Hear Spacey Quotes. This is coming from. Yes, this is Joey Corman and Zolt Gang. I Still Want to Hear pa Spacey Quotes. Uh, that's Joey Corman from Texas, uh, apparently, is a noise music concrete artist okay here we go Okay, that was Joey Corman and Zolt Gang with I Still Want to Hear Spacey Quotes. Uh, next up we have... What do we have? Hold on. Better check that. Ah, uh, yes. Next up we have Zanso Cup. Not exactly sure how to pronounce that. Uh, 
T-Z-A-N-S-O-C-C-U-P, Zanzacup with Beating Revealed. That is the Arnold Mathis remix. And that is what we're going to be playing next. The Arnold Mathis, Arnold, M-A-T-H-E-S, Arnold Mathis remix of Beating Revealed by Zanzocup. Here we go. Oh boy, the arthritis is really uh, kicking in tonight. Um, I'm sitting around waiting for people to call me so I can read their tarot cards for them. Um, it's just something that I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyway that's something that I do and um, so you know people call and uh, I read their tarot cards but it's been a rather slow night and uh, haven't really got any calls yet which is okay because I'm tired and the, the spirits aren't really moving you know, very much this evening uh, Next up, we have a track from Medusa's Evolution, which is a project of Talisha Sullivan, who I seem to be uh, ideologically in tune with, for the most part. You don't have to be ideologically in tune with me for me to, you know, play or enjoy your music or what you do. Um, I'm kind of a nihilist in that sense of basically finally everything basically turns into nothing and uh, hell we all die in the end right so the only thing that's really interesting about human beings is not their body or their beauty which fades and becomes nothing it rots and decays the human body is, you know, pretty disgusting, actually, if you think about it. Beauty always fades. Uh, success always fades. Money is always spent. In the end, uh, we're forgotten. And uh, the people that valued us during our lives are also equally similarly forgotten once they pass on into the damn once they pass on into that uh, great good night time 
not only heals all wounds, but it erases everything. And it's, uh, catches everything in its ineluctable grasp and squeezes it until it, uh, rots and lies stinking in the earth, to quote the exorcist. Uh, Slayer, the band Slayer actually stole that line for a song on South of Heaven. And, uh, it's a great line, though, and it's true. All beauty fades. Uh, all time renders everything meaningless, finally. But there are the things that we leave behind. Uh, the dreams from the 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 dream time the flow of thoughts in the subconscious and it's important to capture those because that may be the only true clue we have as to what the actual mystery of existence means and entails obviously when you dream when you're asleep you're closer to god right you're closer to something whether you believe what it, whatever you want to call it you could call it god or you could call it infinite intelligence or you could call it I don't think of it as inherently good. I don't think of God as really good or bad. God is neither good nor evil. God is simply a force of power. And uh, if you get in his way, if you get in its way, he'll crush you. And that is as it should be. Um, everything is eaten in nature. Everything is food for everything else. There is no getting around that. Um, everything is a part of a giant food chain, a vast food chain. Even in a spiritual sense, everything is part of a food chain. Everything feeds everything else. And everything lives by feeding off of everything else. And that is simply the way that things are. And in our present world, and I see I'm getting on my philosophic soapbox, but in our present world, uh, that is not, that is not considered, uh, that is not a popular opinion. The popular opinion is that we should all strive together to be uh, brotherly equals, but anybody that could look around at the world knows that that's not true, that that simply cannot be true that we should all be altruistic and uh, we should all you know love one another but uh, that's never going to happen that's never going to work that's not the way it is in nature and that's not the way it is in the actual world I can tell you this firsthand from my own experience but anyway that's a philosophic aside that was completely pointless but hopefully it added something to this video podcast but we have again a song from Talisa Sullivan uh, who has a project an electronic project called Medusa's Evolution and this song is she's been good enough to give us two songs this for this podcast and we're not doing these regularly uh, really uh, there's no point in it. I have to beg people for tracks and ask them, and it's just, you know, so unless they send me something, uh, unless I get sent something, uh, uh, I don't really, you know, I don't really have much to say to, to most people. I mean, I, I'd prefer to, to put out material myself that's confusing and uh, more or less hide behind that, because I see the world and life uh, particularly modern life, as being one exercise in absurdity and uh, tragedy in a sense. Um, you'll never convince me otherwise that it has some sort of greater meaning, um, that, it's, that it makes some sort of logical sense that it doesn't. So uh, what I try to do is, you know, use dream logic but enough about that, really. Okay, this is Medusa's Evolution, and this uh, song is called Hold On. Yes, this is Medusa's Evolution, and this song is called Exposed.
Here we go. This transmission must get out. If you're listening to us, you are the resistance. It's now up to you. I hand you the baton. You catch it. It's up to you. I can't do it without you. We're in this together. I'm just a messenger in the form of art here to tell you that you have played your part so successfully that you don't even know you're the biggest star of the most corrupted show. What I'm trying to tell you will knock you to the pretty incredible. I, I liked that quite a bit. Uh, we have another one from... Hold on. Is rigged. The world has been de- 
sorts of other physical and uh, you know just completely awash in our handicaps uh, be that as it may we keep struggling and fighting because to do otherwise would uh, to quit would bring satisfaction to too many people we would think uh, anyway that was Medusa's evolution with Exposed and Power Surge. Uh, two very excellent pieces of electronica. Uh, as far as contributors for this podcast, that's it. Uh, we had uh, the, the noise, music, concrete stuff. Uh, and uh, the Medusa's Evolution with the, uh, with the industrial... Uh, electronica stuff and of course we had the incomparable uh, underground punk rock stylings of two-headed lamb uh, who are uh, you know all that in a box of uh, rocks I don't really know how to finish this up we're at the 30 minute mark uh, these 
video cast really shouldn't go much over 45 minutes because it takes so damn long to upload the damn thing even with my unlimited high-speed internet access that I enjoy uh, it seems to take fucking forever to upload the goddamn things does anybody else have this problem with with long videos I've uploaded audio books that you know some of the chapters are an hour and a half uh, so, for some reason it seems to take so long, it's like, you know, anything over 30, 45 minutes, I'm going to have to wait several hours for it to upload. And I'm actually increasing the time as we, you know, because I'm sitting running my mouth. Um, is there anything I want to say? Is there anything you would find interesting from the, the lips of a reclusive crab-like, bald, bespectacled, uh, fringe dweller, uh, who, uh, makes his dubious living, uh, reading tea leaves, <clears throat> who enjoys the company of dead people, uh, that talk to him in the middle of the night in dreams and visions that uh, would be meaningless to anybody else but uh, we try to concretize them to make them whole and real to bring them out of the world of dreams the land of, of uh, the subconscious and bring them into reality I can't really see as there's anything else what else would be valuable to the world you know I don't feel any onus I, I never had a family I don't have children I don't have uh, you know I don't date people I don't talk to people I mean, don't particularly like people <laughs> um, so you know this work that I do is is what I do, and it's my reason for being here in this fucking revolving mud ball. My probationary period upon this hellish rock. I could have been born, you know, it, it galls me to think I could have been born at any time. I could have been born, you know, at any time, in any place. But I was born in this fucking goddamn miserable modern world. This this descent into to hellish oblivion, this disintegration of society, of the world, this Kala Yuga, as I like to refer to it, this age of darkness and gloom. Uh, so we're all trapped in this modern nightmare. I mean, there are perks, obviously. There's the internet. There's the fact that, you know, I can do my creative work, my writing and my art and my music. Uh, so very easily I can record, to hell, I could, I've recorded, you know, all the instruments for my music, musical pieces, and done the art, and uploaded the art, and, uh, you know, uh, can sit and upload all my writings as a book, you know, and uh, nobody will care. I <laughs> Nobody gives a shit, but I can do those things, and I can have the satisfaction of you know, maybe a few people will discover them somewhere along the line, like some sort of grisly artifact. And, uh, that's the only connection I'll ever have with those people. Um, but, you know, that and the fact that, you know, you have so many wonderful food choices, uh, they're all filled with additives and chemicals and, you know, and stuff that is, you know, making the American waistline, you know. But... You know, beyond beyond that fact, you know, uh, the modern world is, is is truly hell. It's 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 like swimming through. It's like living in an absurd nightmare. I mean, it's what else could you compare it to? I mean, it's it really is an, an exercise in you know people are brainwashed, they're controlled, they're they're. I don't even know how to describe it in thirty forty or. <clears throat> In 40 years of life, it, it's become, 
increasingly obvious to me that I mean I look back at childhood 1986 1987 which was well, you know, I'm on Facebook and I'm always reposting the videos, music videos from that. Even ones I don't really, that, even if I didn't really care for them that much, I'll still repost them just because it's something to identify with. It's a period of my life that, you know, is gone forever in the 1980s and it was wonderful. It, in retrospect, compared to what we have today, it was actually, it was a wonderful period. Ronald Reagan was president, there was prosperity, there was. You know, there was, uh, it was a great time to be alive in the 1980s. I'm sure the 1910s, the 1920s, you know. I romanticize all these periods, but, you know, anything, anything has to be better than, than, than what you have today. I mean, the world is teetering on the brink of, uh, you know, I mean, you won many groups of insane people all convinced that they have the answer and they're all convinced that the answer is to you know uh, impose their will either by force or subterfuge or however they can do it and uh, you know you on the one hand you have people that believe that their religion is going to save the world. It's going to save us all. As, as long as there's a theocratic religious dictatorship imposed, uh, you know, via a bloodbath of some kind, uh, that, that'll be, yeah, man, that, that's what's going to save the world. And then on the other hand, you know, you have uh, your, you know, religious altruistic... Uh, socialistic, modern, progressive gospel of uh, equalitarianism, that that's going to save us all. Once we're one big happy uh, rainbow, all marching toward the same uh, wonderful totalitarian future, uh, that will be what will save mankind. But I've got news for all of these people. Nothing will save mankind. Nothing. Particularly if uh, eventually everything fades into oblivion. Eventually, uh, death endeth all for every man, for every son of thunder. Finally, everything becomes nothing. And the only thing worthwhile is, is what you can leave behind, is the material from your mind, from the subconscious, from that world where things are not yet formed, that you can pull into this waking environment and make concrete somehow. If you can break down the barriers between dream and reality and make those things real, that's the art, the music, the, the literature, the products of the mind, that's all that really matters. Nothing else matters. Uh, beauty does not matter. Money doesn't really matter. It's wonderful to have, and I would encourage everybody to make as much of it as they possibly can, by whatever means that they can, as long as they don't get themselves thrown into prison. Uh, but, uh, you know, um, finally, money doesn't matter. Politics don't matter. Um, altruistic, pious notions of uh, your wonderful quest to... Uh, prove how gloriously uh, gloriously humanistic you can be that doesn't matter none of it matters because eventually one uh, civilization rots decays like our present one uh, crumbles to nothing and is replaced by something else or the barbarians come and storm the gates of Rome and they overthrow the citadel and then they become the new rulers but maybe they'll preserve what they like of your culture and your thoughts and uh, those eternal things uh, will be preserved. Certainly Western culture is superior to all other cultures in my opinion. Uh, and maybe I'm partial. Um, so we shouldn't lose, you know, Mozart, Shakespeare, or rock and roll, man. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough, so I'm going to find one more little thing to leave you with. 
Uh, so you can look at my bald head for a second while I decide what that's going to be. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave you with this. Uh, good night. Have a pleasant tomorrow. I'm sure as you uh, turn on the news in the next few days, there'll be another uh, attack of some sort or some catastrophe somewhere in the world that could have easily been prevented with a little foresight. But, uh, you know, the great civilizations of the world now are rotting and decaying from within. And so, uh, anyway, I'll shut up now. You have a wonderful evening, all of you. And uh, I want to thank all the people who donated tracks. Uh, Talisha Sullivan, Medusa's Evolution, and um, hold on. We are still living under the reign of logic, but the logical processes of our time apply only to the solution of problems of secondary interest. The absolute rationalism which remains in fashion allows for the consideration of only those facts narrowly relevant to our experience. living under the reign of logic, but the logical the processes of our time apply only to the solution of problems of secondary interest. The absolute rationalism which remains in fashion allows for the consideration of only those facts narrowly relevant to our experience. Logical conclusions, on the other hand, escape us. And we have prescribed every way of seeing the truth which does not conform to the inspired to the three forms of existence. Four forms of gender, two bishops, a cardinal, and three knights of the king. Immediate utility and is guarded by common sense. In the guise of civilization, under the pretext of progress, we have succeeded in dismissing our minds of anything that, rightly or wrongly, could be regarded as superstitious myth. Progress. We have prescribed every way of seeking the truth which does not conform to convention. But of course, her most recent atrocities did not conclude. As the first such affair had turned out so happily in her favor, about which no one was supposed to be concerned any longer has recently been brought back to life. Prescribed every way of Credit for this must go to Freud. On the evidence of his discoveries, a current of opinion is at last developing, which will enable the explorer of his discoveries, a current of opinion is at last developing, which will enable the be empowered to deal with more than mere summary realities. Since he will be empowered to deal with more than mere summary realities. If the depths of our minds conceal strange forces capable of augmenting or conquering those on the if the depths of our minds conceal strange forces capable of augmenting or conquering those on the the analysts themselves can only gain by this themselves can only gain by this. It would appear that it is by sheer chance that an aspect of intellectual life. And, and my father was to be in his by sheer chance that I have still one that was supposed to be on the same line as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as recently as one of my life was supposed to be for this question of as
it could be as they say. And as it is in no way proven that in such a case the reality with which I am concerned even exists in the dream state, or that it does not sink into the immemorial, then why should I not concede to the dream what I sometimes refuse to reality, that weight of self-assurance which by its own terms is not exposed to my denial? Why should Fear I that it is by sheer chance that an aspect of the dream life, and by far and the most conscious important conscious in my opinion, about which no one was supposed to be concerned any longer has recently been brought back to life. Fear that it is by sheer chance that an aspect of the dream life, and by far the most important in my opinion, about which no one was supposed to be It is a dream and the detachment that I owe to it, which is energy mean. Two, I return to the waking state. I am obliged to retain it as a phenomenon of interference. Not only does the mind show a strange tendency to disorientation under these conditions, this is the clue that slips at the time in the lapse of all minds whose secret is just beginning to be thrown to us. But when functioning normally, the mind still seems to obey none other than those suggestions which rise from that deep night I am commending. Sound as it may be, it's equal to the rhythm of relative. The mind hardly dares express itself, and when it does so, it is limited to stating that this idea or that woman has an effect on it. What effect it cannot say. Thus it gives a measure of a subjectivism and nothing more. The idea of a woman disturbs it, it disposes it to less severity. Their role is to isolate one segment of the severe to the rose of the sky, and the glorious acceleration of the be that it is, then, as a last resort, the mind of most chance, a more obscure divinity of the elements, in whom the dream is all its aberration, when he says the angle of the world that I was more than his memory, I'm going to find it in my 